Hey everyone, it's Brenda. I'm here to share another video with you guys. I uh, figured I'd work with my um, bullet journal, so to speak, for my um, social media. What I use it for anyway is for my blogs and YouTube mostly. Sorry, I'm looking for my button here on the camera. Okay, that's as far as I'm getting out. Um, I just used this uh, cheap notebook that I had gotten from my daughter, which I do love this notebook. Um, it's got a little pocket in the front, and it's just a plain lined notebook. So what I've done is I have gone through and put the date, the month, and then the year, and I wrote that out. And, um, swirly script and this that's all in pencil so far and I've done that all the way through to the end of the year with the days of the month so I have that all set so I can write on each day when I have something planned for either my blog or YouTube or both or whatnot um and I'll show you what I did here for March it's not completely done yet you can see but I have been keeping very busy trying to and I make a few videos at a time so this way if I'm not feeling good I have like a few days or maybe a week depending on how many videos I could put out in a day and I have them scheduled ahead of time so a lot of my stuff is pre-recorded it's just that much easier for me and on this side I just do a little doodle to separate part of the month for some of my notes that I want to get um, things I want to get done or ideas whatnot and then again here for separation of this one has my to do's um, and maybe some labels or hashtags I want to remember to use and then I made this little scroll like board um, sign whatever so I could keep track of my subscribers adsense my blogs and Instagram so I can keep track of how many um, subscribers or maybe posts or whatever I want to put in there I want to keep tracking so I'm going to get started here with you guys. I try not to use, I gotta show you. You see how this, you could see the design bleeding through and this kind of like transferred over here. You could see the green. That's gel pen. So I have learned that gel pen on normal thin paper may not be such a hot idea. So let's get started. I'm going to try to work around this tripod that I have sitting on my desk right now and I'm multitasking. I have um, editing, I'm editing um, another video right now while we're doing this. I'm going to start with pencil. Is it just a, uh, let's see, I think it's a number seven. Yeah, the lead looks like a seven, a uh, number seven lead pencil, uh, mechanical. And I usually start roughly about three lines down and I'm gonna see this is my birthday month for April so maybe in the center here because I want to use this whole section for notes or whatever I like the setup so far it's been working pretty good so gonna go with that and I'm thinking maybe some scroll work for the division on this one right now. And I'll start here at the bottom. Maybe tap out halfway. Extend over, swoop down, and curl. And this doesn't have to be perfect. I'm just, you know, doodling, messing, messing around. And then I like the idea of like adding some of my astrological sign, which is the Taurus. So the Taurus horns are more curved like this. So I'm going to add that into this doodle here. And maybe curl it down this way. Maybe where these come, do a little bit of dotting. I'm 
just for some added detail. And that's it for my divider for just a little doodling there, which I don't mind. <laughs> um, so I think what I'm going to do is, I'll show you which pens I'm going to try this round. These are Pentel RSV, RSVPs, the fine pens in blue, red, and green. They're actually the only colors that I was able to find in these, but I've had these for like ever or two. Um, and then my Dr. Grip Pure White, which is a pilot pen, which I love these fat pens. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is start with red. After all, it is my favorite color. Well, any shade of red. And I'll do the heart in red. Maybe a little highlight. And I have been using my traveler's notebook still, but I use that more for doodling on the go. And like I said, this is more for planning aspects for my social media and whatnot. I do miss the vibrancy and the smoothness of the pen on the paper from the um, gel pens, but I really I'm hoping these don't bleed through. Do the outline here. over the pen lines here. I don't know if anyone else is having trouble with um, some of their window programs. Mostly my editing software, which I was using like Movie Maker and it was great in the beginning. It was, you know, it does what it's supposed to do. But I went to upload, well, I went to edit and then, and just to view a video and my Windows Media Player and the Movie Maker crapped out. I have no idea. Um, I don't know if it was an update or not. It's not a big deal though because I just went online and found new editing software. So I am trying that out. So hopefully I've got some better quality videos coming out. Um, they're actually coming out in a new format, which is lovely, which I adore because it is very good quality. I'm hoping that it continues that way. But if you see difference, that's what it is. Okay, where it's thin paper, you could still see, but it is nowhere near as bled through as the green here, as the gel pens. So I'm kind of ecstatic with that. And over here, we're going to start with pencil again and I really do like the idea of the sign there so I might continue that we'll see <laughs> I want to divide it out again though um, I'll use my ruler and run it down here from the side because I do like the idea of a box no matter what And maybe make it a little thinner so I have more room on the side. So that's good for me. Um, it's a little bit off, but I don't mind. That or we can just even leave it that way, so it's not a big deal. So I'm going to start again. This I only do two down instead of three, but it, it all depends on the amount of days. So when they line up, these lines are actually identical going across the bottom. I'm going to repeat that pattern just for uniformity. I'm going to definitely cut it down just a little bit though. Because you definitely don't need it that long. Um, actually, I think I want to extend that. Hmm. Let's see if I have my eraser with me. I use my big art eraser, my Boston. 
<laughs> I'll just drag it over to the edge so I have something to hook into if I want to. And these will not be even, but like I said, that doesn't bother me either, so that's all good. that one a little too quickly. I'll do this one just a little differently I think here. Trying to decide what I want to put here at the top. I know what I could do here. Actually, I don't want this world like that. We're going to do social media, so instead of writing the whole thing out, I'm just going to write S media. And then I am going to make the top an arrow. Just like that. And I think that'll be good for my April spread. So we'll go back to doing the coloring in and finish this page off so I could get to planning my videos for April. And if any of you guys actually, if you guys like uh, watching me do these little uh, Bujo planners, uh, insert pages for my social media, just let me know and I'll continue doing them. Otherwise, I might just pop them up every now and then, just for a little added content, something a little different. I don't usually use my bullet journal all that often anymore, due to the fact that I'm not that active in it, because I've been too busy making you know, YouTube videos and kind of getting back more into drawing than I was before. Which has been nice, honestly. <laughs> kind of miss it. And since this is an arrow, maybe what I'll do is break this up some with almost like Morse code, you know, lines and dots. It was once the ink strike, you could always go back and, you know, erase it up, so you don't see the pencil lines anymore. I'm hoping not to be in your guys' line of sight here. But there's that side so far. And I think what I'm going to do is 
trace over this 2017 just with my black pen. I'm not even trying to be fancy, I'm just kind of using my basic handwriting here. Okay, so we have this side there. And we'll do April now, and I think I want to do April with the thick points colored in red. Just for a little bit more pop to the color. I made an extra bit here, but I'll just color that in, and you can't even tell. It wasn't there in the beginning. <laughs> so, there we have it. This way I could go in now and start creating on my April spread. I'm going to show you guys that in full. And I hope to see y'all in the next one. Thanks for joining me today. Bye, guys.